Good afternoon, and welcome to the campus of the University of Oklahoma. At this time, will you please stand and greet the processional party of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication as they enter the room.
Thank you. You may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the spring 2023 convocation of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication here at OU. I'm Ed Kelly, the Dean of the College. What an incredibly great crowd. Thank you all for turning out today. <clears throat> Let me share a little bit about what's in store for you the rest of the afternoon. Sunday Busby of the Gaylord College Alumni Association will welcome our graduates to the ranks of alumni. We will also hear a few comments from this year's outstanding senior, Jackson Connor. Yeah. Uh, then hear a keynote address from one of our distinguished alumni, Sarah Elizabeth Hill. And then what we're all been waiting for, we will introduce each of the graduates who are with us today. We also want to remind you that this ceremony is being streamed live to our website and will be archived for your future viewing. So tweet or email your friends and family, tell them to go online to ou.edu backslash Gaylord Live. Okay, here's how we're gonna start. I'd like to start by recognizing the people here today who've had put in so much time and effort to ensure that these graduates succeed. So, will all the parents, grandparents, and loved ones of a graduate today, would you all please stand so we can recognize you? As you can see, our graduates would not be here today without the support and love from their personal networks. So for that all, all that you do to make sure that our graduates today go out in the world and succeed, please give yourself one more round of applause. It also takes a lot of effort and support from faculty and staff once our students are here on our campus. I would like to thank the Gaylord College leadership team that includes faculty and members of our professional staff. Included on this leadership team is Yvette Walker, our Assistant Dean for Student Affairs. Our college is organized around three, three main areas of study, journalism, strategic communication, and media arts. Four area heads serve on leadership to shape their curriculum and ensure that we're meeting the needs of our students and the industries we serve. These faculty members in attendance today are Dr. Robert Kerr, the area head for journalism, including digital, broadcast, and print. And Debbie Yant and Sherry Cass, the co-area heads for strategic communication, which encompasses our advertising and public relations majors. Our graduate programs are led by Dr. Doyle Yoon, the graduate director, who is also a member of our advertising faculty. I would also like to thank all the uh, faculty members who are behind me today, as well as those who could not join us this afternoon, for the enormous amount, and I do mean the enormous amount of time and energy they put in to ensure that these students are mentored in the proper way. Our STEAM faculty is complemented by a well-trained professional staff who support the efforts of the college and provide guidance to your students as they move through their college years. Finally, I would also like to thank a special group of students here today, the Gaylord Ambassadors. These students often serve as the student face of Gaylord College, at alumni and friend, interacting with alumni and friends at events like this. Thank you, Ambassadors, for all that you do. Gaylord College is dedicated to providing state-of-the-art instruction to our students to prepare them for careers in a dynamic, technology-driven world. For 72 years, the journalism program at OU has housed one of the only professional writing programs in the country. And our former students include New York Times best-selling authors. Our professional writing faculty have published numerous titles. And this year, our PW students, as we call them, have had their work placed and published all over the country. For the second year in a row, Gaylord College has been recognized as the number two program in the country 
by the Broadcast Education Association. Our newscast. There you go. Our newscast, Oya Knightley, and sports broadcasts consistently, <laughs> consistently rank in the top five of their kind in the United States. This year, we sent journalism students to Washington, D.C. to cover news for media outlets in Oklahoma and sent students on the road to every OU football game. And a number of our students will intern at media outlets this summer all across the country. Our advertising program has been ranked in the top 10 in the country by bestofcolleges.com. Our public relations program, the largest in Gaylord College, is the nation's oldest accredited PR program. Our strategic communications seniors in advertising and public relations in recent years have worked with all kinds of interesting clients in their capstone classes. That include the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Chickasaw Nation, Hewlett Packard, Microsoft, American Honda, Quick Trip, Carnival Cruise Lines, and the number one Major League Baseball bat company, Marucci. Many of our advertising and PR students work in our integrated agency known as Lindsay and Ass. And such experience, such experience leads to internship opportunities across the country, which leads to jobs upon graduation. Creative media production is our fastest growing major in Gaylord College. We are back here, essentially doubling in size the past eight years. Students win, frequently win student achievement awards at the Harland Emmys for their award-winning productions. Most importantly, the aforementioned Broadcast Education Association has ranked Gaylord College number one nationally in film and video production for the past two years. So graduates, we hope you see that Gaylord College is working hard to prepare you for the rigors of a career in the modern media and communication fields. We want you to be prepared to be communicators, innovators, and entrepreneurs and to be difference makers in any career that you might choose. Today, we challenge you to follow your dreams, to use the talent and dedication you have, and to excel in all of your life's pursuits. So parents, grandparents, family members, and friends, please join me in congratulating our graduates. This ceremony honors our new graduates. As they move into the ranks of alumni, they become part of the support system for generations to come. The backbone of that support system is the Gaylord College Alumni Association. The Alumni Association contributes a number of resources, both financial and in-kind, to Gaylord College. Sunday Busby is the president of the Gaylord College Alumni Association. She is a Gaylord graduate from year 2000 who majored in public relations. Sunday is the Director of Volunteer Services at the R. Blood Institute in Oklahoma City. She started her career upon graduation at OU with Candid Color Systems Party Picks in Oklahoma City, promoting the company's services. Later, she moved to Fort Worth, working in the banking industry, doing PR, marketing, and events for a large family-owned bank. She returned to Oklahoma and landed a job as an event planner at Chesapeake Energy where she helped raise millions of dollars during the United Way campaign, plan the company's 20th anniversary party, and help host concerts with Jewel, Darius Rucker, and Sheryl Crow. Her work with planning Chesapeake's blood drive eventually led her to, led her to the nonprofit sector at the Our Blood Institute. As director of volunteer services there, Sunday serves blood institutes in Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Texas. As Alumni Association president, Sunday has been keenly involved in the restructuring and increased outreach to alumni. We're fortunate to have her leadership in this very key role. So please join me in welcoming from the Gaylord College Alumni Association, Sunday Busby. Thank you, Dean Kelly. On behalf of the Alumni Association for Gaylord College, I congratulate you on achieving this significant milestone. Let me be the first to welcome you to the ranks of the alumni of the Gaylord College. You join a group that is more than 10,000 strong and growing. Years of dedication, study, and hard work have culminated, and now the world awaits you. 
This is your opportunity to take what you have learned and apply it to the challenges of the business world. And while challenges do await you, it is good to know that you are well prepared to meet them because of the education that you have received at Gaylord College and the University of Oklahoma. Keep in mind that your education is ongoing and you will have many more opportunities for learning. As with your student experience, the same will hold true for your alumni experience. The more involved you become, the more rewards you will receive in experiences, contacts, and knowledge. As you begin your professional journey, I challenge each of you to strive for success. Visualize your dreams and achieve them. But I also challenge you to remember your heritage and tradition and to always be a supporter of your college and your university. The Alumni Association's primary purpose is to foster our shared traditions and to give back to the college that supported us and gave us foundation for successful careers. Each of you should have one of these cards in your seats today, and I encourage all of you to join and be involved in the Gaylord College Alumni Association, and again, I congratulate you on a job well done. Thank you, Sunday. I'd like to reintroduce uh, our Assistant Dean, Yvette Walker, who will help us honor our students for their academic achievements. Thank you, Dean Kelly. One of the great joys of teaching is seeing students excel and distinguish themselves among their peers. The University of Oklahoma recognizes students for academic achievement in a number of ways. One way students' academic excellence is signified is by the wearing of a golden hood with their regalia or a blue and gold cord. As a college, we will now acknowledge these groups of individuals. Please hold your applause until the last group has been called. And students, I do encourage you to stand. Gaylord College students who maintained a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 are designated as graduates with distinction. Will all those graduating with distinction please stand and remain standing? Don't be shy. <laughs> Students who maintained a grade point average of 3.8 to 3.99 are designated as graduates with special distinction. Will all those graduating with special distinction stand and remain standing? Congratulations, you may be seated. The OU Honors College also recognizes students who have gone the extra mile and taken honors classes and completed an independent research project while maintaining a minimum grade point average. We will now acknowledge these students. Please hold your applause until the final group has been called. Those honors students who maintained a grade point average of 3.4 to 3.59 are designated as graduating cum laude. Will all those graduating with cum laude status stand and remain standing? All right. <laughs> students who maintained a grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79 are designated as graduating magna cum laude. We know you're out there, please stand. <laughs> you're shy, okay. And students who maintained a grade point average of 3.8 to 4.0 are designated as graduating summa cum laude. Will this final group please stand? There you go, there you go, yay! Congratulations once again to these students and their outstanding academic achievements. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker and overall outstanding senior, Jackson Connor. Jackson is a senior from Little Rock, Arkansas, who is a double major in public relations and political science. For three years, he has been an active member of the Gaylord Ambassadors, where he is Vice Chair of Communications. Elsewhere at OU, he is President of his fraternity, Sigma Nu, and a member of the President's Community Scholars. Jackson has worked as Gaylord College's Communication Intern. 
handling much of the college's social media accounts. He's had a number of impressive internships outside of OU, including with the Oklahoma City Dodgers Foundation and in the office of U.S. Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas. And this spring, he was the first ever intern at Amber Integrated, a prominent public relations firm in Oklahoma City. And oh yeah, he's an A student. Please welcome our outstanding senior, Jackson Connor. All right. <clears throat> some of you know me and some of you don't, though you might now after that great introduction, so thank you, Dean Walker. Um, today I'm going to open up and let you guys in on a couple secrets, if that's all right with you. First secret. While some might say that I have a big personality, I am absolutely, positively terrified of public speaking. And I say that today for two reasons. Number one, to get that out of the way for when I inevitably mess this up. And two, because I want to talk today about failure, success, and being your own worst critic. When we all leave here today, everybody in this audience is going to walk away not remembering a word I said or even caring if I messed up at all. I, on the other hand, will remember every tiny detail and dwell on the things I could have potentially done better. The thing about criticizing yourself is while it can push you to do better, you are always going to pick apart the little things that go unnoticed to others. Second secret, I am extremely competitive and because of that, I, like many of you, am extra hard on myself when things don't go exactly the way I planned it out. As I'm sure you can imagine because of this, failure is an incredibly hard thing for me to cope with. At the end of the day, nobody likes to fail. Third secret, and this one's on behalf of the entire class right here in front of me. Our time here at Gaylord College has not always been smooth sailing. I'm sorry parents, but uh, some of us even failed a time or two before getting to the ceremony today. But look at us now. The thing with failure that is not always talked about and is a lesson unfortunately learned the hard way is that failure often leads to even greater success providing itself as a learning moment that builds character, as my parents would say. After taking intro to media, each and every Gaylord student goes on to media writing and storytelling. Now this class is basically centered around making yourself as perfect as possible. And by that, I mean the curriculum leaves little room for grammatical errors of any kind. In this class, there are these things called fact errors, and my peers right here might know exactly where I'm going with this. The thing about fact errors is that they are worth 50% of a given assignment. Now, I know Gaylord students aren't known for their math skills, but two fact errors in an assignment results in a zero. Quick math. I'd done so well, I'd cruised past the midterm with the world at my feet, not a fact error in sight, and that's when it hit you. 50 points off, class grade drops by two letters. For me, this was a huge failure, and I was incredibly hard on myself. As I met with my professor, she told me to move forward and use this as motivation, that there was still just enough room left in the semester to make up the points and end with the grade that I wanted. What happens after that is unimportant. The lesson was already taught and learned. Sometimes you have to fail in order to succeed later on. Last secret. I am incredibly obsessive when it comes to planning and I absolutely hate the unknown. For many of us about to walk this stage today, the unknown is exactly what we are facing and that can be a scary thing. Being our own worst critics, some of us may wonder if there's anything we could have done different feeling like we failed in the moment while waiting on the success to come. Everyone sitting right here today has done what is necessary to walk across this stage and earn a degree from Gaylord College, and that is a success worth celebrating. So as I close today so we can fast forward to that very celebration, I want to remind everyone that being your own worst critic is not always helpful, that failure often leads to even greater success, and that the unknown is perfectly okay. These are just a few of the many lessons Gaylord College has taught me. Lessons that are no less tangible and valuable than the hard skills each of us gained throughout our time here. Gaylord College has given each of us so much and the journey this has been would not have been possible without the faculty, staff, and classmates that took it alongside us. On behalf of the class of 2023, thank you Gaylord College for the many lessons you've taught us. Congratulations to each and every one of you. It has been a journey and this is your reward. And yes, I got the grade that I wanted. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce to you our convocation speaker this afternoon, Sarah Elizabeth Hill. Sarah is one of us, 
as a Gaylord College graduate who majored in professional writing since graduation in 2010, she has built a fascinating business career focused on entrepreneurship that has taken her all across the country. Her first job out of OU was working in Washington, D.C. as a bookings producer for Al Jazeera's English Network. She came back to Oklahoma and her native Texas to work with startups, then was off to a Los Angeles-based agency specializing in social media with clients like Nike and HBO. Ten years ago, she headed east to New York City, where she was a social media manager for the Super Bowl when it was held in the Meadowlands. After football, she went to work for yet another startup, The Reading Room, where she eventually became the CEO. Once in that position, she rebranded and relaunched the company as Bookster.com. She significantly expanded its video audience through Facebook Live programming, interviewing notable authors. She raised several million dollars in venture capital for the business while securing media partnerships with big publishers like HarperCollins. Five years ago, Sarah left Bookster to start her own social media and podcast organization known as Bobby Media, named for her grandma. The company has worked with more than 100 clients, including artists, actors, authors, retailers, healthcare companies, fashion salons, and many, many more. Some of you graduates have heard me say that a degree in majoring in Gaylord College is the most versatile degree on campus. It gives you an opportunity to go work in a variety of places because you've honed your communication and critical skills while with us. Well, I can think of no better example than our convocation speaker this afternoon. So please join me in welcoming Sarah Elizabeth Hill. Sarah? All right. Thank you, Dean Kelly. Your check is in the mail for saying such nice things about me. No, but really, I want to thank you, Dean Kelly and Lee Reynolds, for inviting me to speak today. I also want to thank all of the professors here at Gaylord, and especially writing professor Mel Odom, who I know has read countless terrible student novels, including my own, which we will not discuss today. So, class of 2023, I'm not sure if you've heard of this little thing called artificial intelligence or AI. No, I know you've heard of it. Who actually wrote a paper this year? No, I'm just kidding. You better have written your papers this year. Funny thing is that even though I'm joking, I did ask artificial intelligence, particularly chat GPT, to write this speech for me, just to see what it could do. It came up with a great speech, one about leadership and life challenges, resilience was in there, and it even told me to tell you how capable you all are of success. Although it did miss the real insight and value of any firsthand experience, you would never know it. This got me thinking. With the excitement around AI, coupled with the fear of it coming to life and taking over the world, what is the difference between us and them? If it is perfect, how can we be better? In the AI speech, it could not reference feeling anything. It can't tell you the feeling of seeing your friends and family in a ceremony honoring your hard-won achievement. It never had to triumph earning a degree through a pandemic like you did. This life can be full of struggle, and AI has no idea what that is outside of a definition. It has never experienced struggle a day in its life. It sounds kind of nice in theory, and technically, it's perfect. Here's the thing. I'm not here to push an AI sucks agenda. It's simply not true. It's an amazing tool that you will have to use, but that's all it is, a tool in your toolkit. The other tools, your heart, your brain, and your wisdom will ultimately propel you. This next chapter can be very scary, and my advice to you is to lean 
into it. What are you scared of? Failing? Here's news for you. You will fail. Unlike AI, you will not have a team of engineers ready to fix you. I actually encourage you to fail. Decide early what you're okay at failing trying to do. And then do that thing, and just maybe you'll succeed. You sitting here today already tells me that you have an abundance of resilience. I have to tell you about one time that I had to be resilient myself. I was meeting with Alan Alda, the actor who some of you may know from a little show called MASH or The West Wing or like a million other brilliant performances. I have been in the room when Tina Fey, Tom Hanks, and Conan O'Brien told him he was their ultimate hero. He is your hero's hero. So yeah, I was a little nervous for this Facebook Live interview with him. And I woke up that morning to be told by my investors that I had to pull the plug on my entire company and let go of about 30 people. Before calling lawyers and HR, I called my stepdad. I told him I was going to cancel on Alan Alda. And he yelled loudly through the phone, you can't cancel on Alan Alda. You'll regret it the rest of your life. You know dads, they can be so dramatic. After the interview, I wrote Alan an email apologizing for my lack of attention. Explaining to him the situation, he responded with gracious words telling me it would be okay. This is a mantra I implore you to use often. It will be okay. A few months later, Alan became my first client for Bobby Media, my company now. He is still a client today, and his podcast has over 25 million downloads and made it to number one on Apple's list of culture and society. Okay, so it sounds like things worked out seamlessly for me. But there's the part I left out, the sulking period. The eating ice cream out of the bucket, in sweats, watching sad movies, period. I had no money, nowhere permanent to live because I lived in the office. At the same time, I had an engagement end, and soon after, I had a mental health crisis that ultimately led me on a health journey that would last for years. I promise you, all of these things worked out in my favor. And I tell you about them, so when things unravel in your life, and they will, you will remember that it will be okay. New doors will open for you better than you could have imagined if you just keep going. Despite my success, yes, I have failed a lot. That's right, the lesson is to fail enough times and they will ask you to come back and give a convocation speech. <laughs> At first, I wanted to write the next great American novel. Then, I wanted to be the next Christine Amanpour. I did anything and everything to get a great job at a top company. I knocked on every door during a recession. I applied to every news network, tech company, and entertainment in the United States at least three times to never get an interview. I begged the man, the editor, at the Washington Post for a job to just sweep the floors, only to be told that there was a two-year wait list for an unpaid internship to sweep the floors, by the way. Rejection is redirection. And like water hitting the rock, move around it. Keep flowing. Take control of your life. When all the doors are closed, do not fear starting something yourself. This is America. You have the luxury and the right to create experiment, build, and speak openly. So, do it. This is such an exciting time for you. It's the perfect time for you to spread your wings and chase what you love to do. Don't hold back. There's the other thing artificial intelligence can't express to you. 
The real people who will help you on your journey. People you can't make up even if you tried. Stronger, funnier, smarter, kinder, more inspiring than your brain can dream up right now. In your past and your future, these people will make up your life and your career. Thank them and be them for others. Okay, so just for a second, just a quick second, we're going to talk about money. Because it was here at Gaylord that I learned how to turn a craft into a profession where I could make an income. It was also here that I was told that you can love what you do, but sometimes it will still feel like just a job. Thank you again, Mel Odom. Listen, we chose a field that leads with passion over profits, but you have to have a profit. Remember that and never feel ashamed for taking a job to put food on the table. Okay, so I know we're all ready to go celebrate at Campus Corner. I certainly am. So I will leave you with three quick lessons. First, never be embarrassed for trying. Success is a result of the amount of times you try, and I have found that to be true for anything. The value of success outweighs your failures. The failures do hurt, though. Second, lean in to your resilience. Life throws you curveballs. You quickly can be a victim of disease, prejudice, biases, fate, chance, bad luck, other people's actions, and inaction. Process it, but do not sit in it. Don't set up camp and stay. It is the worst hotel, and it will cost you your time, energy, and your well-being. Resilience is a choice. It is a choice to get out of bed. It is a choice to leave a bad job or to start again with a new venture, person, or purpose. To move on takes great courage and, yes, resilience. It is painful, but it is the seed of anything bountiful. Third, master the pivot. Master letting go. Master the journey. AI can take a test for you, but it can't study. The importance is in the studying. The process, not the destination. You think there's a rainbow at the end of this road? I can tell you, you're currently walking on it. The pot of gold at the end that you discover is yourself. It's already within you. Chase your calling and the adventure of participating in this wild thing we call life. It's active. What you discover through life, how you let it unfold, that is the prize. Your character as a person is ultimately determined by the choices you make over time. As life erodes you and your adventure unfolds with it. Build your character and hold true to the values that make you. What is left will be the strongest parts of you, stronger than any robot and more intelligent than the artificial kind. It's the real stuff, and you're going to need it in this fast-paced, ever-evolving industry. Class of 2023, you have degrees in mass communication now. You are the experts. You are truly better than AI, and do not forget that. Artificial intelligence will help guide you, but your real intelligence and emotion will lead you through the next phase in your life. Lean in to your love of media, advertising, and storytelling. Your heart was not created in a lab. It's real and it's powerful and you should follow it. It can take you very far in this very real world. Since you all know people and stories so well, trust what you know to be true, and remember, no one wants to watch a movie about someone who has never struggled. No hero became a hero by playing it safe, and no real intelligence ever came from being perfect. Congratulations, class of 2023. Boomer Sooner! Thank you, Sarah. That was, that was really great. We, we'd like to present you with a, a small gift as a token of our appreciation.
Now I'd like to introduce our senior faculty member in Gaylord College and our former associate dean, Dr. David Craig. Now, Dr. Doyle Yoon, Director of Graduate Studies, will please come forward and preside over the hooding of the graduate students. Well, thanks, Dr. Craig. So now it is our time. Okay. So from medieval times, academic dress has included three items, cap, gown, and hood. The black gown and the motorboat are traditional. And holders of master's and doctoral degrees wear a hood that identifies the degree. The doctoral hoods are longer than the master's hood. The lining of the hood display the official colors of college and universities conferring the degree. The colors of the velvet band around the neck indicates the scholar's field of studies. In our case, the color is crimson signifying journalism and mass communications. So now, it is my pleasure to present to you for hooding students who have completed the requirements for the graduate studies. Professors who chaired and served on the dissertation and thesis or project committees will hood the candidates. Okay. Dr. Chung Nam Kim, will you come please forward to hood your PhD students? PhD students? Or had him leave. Send it. So please congratulate Harim on completion of a doctoral degree. Thank you. No. Dr. David Craig, will you come forward to hood your PhD students? Casey Yera. Please congratulate Casey on the completion of a doctoral degree. <laughs> Dr. Angela Zhang, will you please come forward to hood your students? Asia Mux. <laughs> please congratulate Asia on completion of a doctoral degree. Now, we will recognize the students in our Masters of Art and Masters of Professional Writing. Dr. Angela Zhang, will you please come forward? Thank you. And Yulia Tomatova. Please congratulate Julia on completion of her master's degree. <laughs> Professor Ray Claxton, will you please come forward to hood your student? Holly Mackenzie Hendrick. <laughs> please congratulate Holly on completion of her master's degree. Dr. Jensen Moore, will you please come forward to hood your master's students? Rachel Oland. Please congratulate Rachel on completion of a master's degree. Dr. Moore will continue to hood her master's students. Taylor Glissman. OK, 
Okay, please congratulate Taylor on completion of a master's degree. Again, Dr. Moore will continue to food her master's students. Anna Swafford. Okay, please congratulate Anna on completion of a master's degree. Professor Colleen Thurston, will you please come forward to hood your master's student? Audrey Williams. Please congratulate Audrey on her completion of her master's degree. just a brief announcement. We received a word that we have inclement weather coming in. Um, we need to remain inside the arena, so please no one leave until we have given the other word. Thank you. Well, we will continue to do it, okay? Then, I will hood our citizens, Chidera Kendall, you day. Just tell them it's lightning and rain. That's the only weather concern we have. Okay. Well, the outside is lightning and rain, and that's the only things we are concerned, so please. It's okay, I think, at this moment, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, Dr. Melanie Wilderman, can you please come forward to hood your master's student? John R. Willing. Okay, please congratulate John on completion of his master's degree. Dr. Wilderman will continue to hood our master's students. Anne Wimberley. Okay, please congratulate Anne on completion of a master's degree. Well, now we have the great pleasure of introducing our professional master's degree in strategic communication and digital strategies. Many of these students have come a long distance to be on campus here today. Okay. So Professor Carla Holmes, Associate Director of Professional Writing Program, <laughs> professional, sorry, professional graduate programs and Professor Debbie Yont, core area head for strategic communications, will hood our students. Professor Holmes, here, will you please come forward <laughs> to hood our professional master's students? Okay. Taylor Madison Adams. Okay, please congratulate Taylor on completion of a master's degree. Shelby Chesson Banks. Okay, please congratulate Shelby on completion of a master's degree. Joy Michelle Fakay. Yeah. 
Okay, please congratulate Joyce on completion of a master's degree. Michael Fisher. Okay, please congratulate Michael on completion of his master's degree. Shannon Fortenberry. Please congratulate Shannon on completion of a master's degree. Crystal Gable. Okay, please congratulate Crystal on the completion of a master's degree. Haley Garrett. Please congratulate Haley's on the completion of a master's degree. Woo! Darlene Garcia. Please congratulate Darlene on completion of a master's degree. Elizabeth Paul Gray. Please congratulate Elizabeth on completion of her degree. Shelby Lynn Harvey. Please congratulate Shelby on completion of a master's degree. Amy Hawkins. Amy. Please congratulate Amy on completion of a master's degree. <laughs> Fellow Henning. Please congratulate Fellows on completion of a master's degree. Christy Hudson. Please congratulate Christy on completion of a master's degree. Thank you, Dr. Holmes. Now, Professor Yont, will you please come forward to our professional master's students? Kimberly Hunter. Please congratulate Kimberly on completion of a master's degree. Nathan Miles. Please congratulate Nathan on completion of his master's degree. Shona Bini Montoya. Please congratulate Shona on completion of a master's degree. Christine Page Murray. Please congratulate Christine on completion of a master's degree. Reagan Baker Neighbors. Please congratulate Reagan on completion of a master's degree. <laughs> Alexis Nash. <laughs> Please congratulate Alexis on completion of her master's degree. Janelle Nightingale.
Please congratulate Janelle on completion of her master's degree. Jordan Shea Norris. Please congratulate Jordan on completion of her master's degree. Chase Sloan. Please congratulate Chase on completion of his master's degree. Janice Anderson Solitaire. Please congratulate Janice on completion of her master's degree. Lindsay Story. Please congratulate Lindsay on completion of her master's degree. Sloan Tittle. Please congratulate Sloan on completion of a master's degree. Bayou Vaughn. Please congratulate Bayou on completion of a master's degree. Harley Walker. Please congratulate Holly on completion of a master's degree. JC Wallace. Please congratulate JC on completion of a master's degree. Jessica Diane Williams. Please congratulate Jessica on completion of a master's degree. Okay. Well, please congratulate one final time to all of our graduate students who are graduating, graduating today. It's now time to recognize the undergraduate students who are receiving a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism and Mass Communication. Will the spring class of 2023 graduates please stand? <laughs> Dean Kelly. The candidates who stand before you today embody the undergraduate mission of the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. They value and protect freedom of expression. They welcome and encourage intellectual and cultural diversity. They exercise critical thinking, and they are creative, ethical, skilled, and socially responsible. They have fulfilled all degree program requirements for a Bachelor of Arts at the University of Oklahoma. On behalf of the faculty of Gaylord College, it's my great pleasure to recommend to you each of these individuals for you to bestow upon them their respective degrees. I offer to you the spring class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Craig. President Harris has delegated to me the authority to honor each of you in convocation today upon completion of the work for your degrees. Therefore, it is my great pleasure to congratulate you for your achievement in completing your degrees and to recognize each of you individually with all the rights, perks, and privileges due to you. I congratulate the spring class of 2023. You are now officially alumni. That's right.
And now Dean Walker will announce the graduates' names as they cross the stage and receive their dip diploma covers from me. Faculty from each area will add their congratulations as you exit the stage. As the candidates line up to receive their degrees, family and friends should feel free to take pictures and or shout with joy when your graduate's name is read. But we ask that you try not to leave your seats to take photos. Official photos are being taken by party pics. All right, we're going to get started. All right. So we'll start with the advertising majors, Noelle Stark. Marin Stankowitz. Garrett Johnson. Carson Hockersmith. Tristan Breath. Emily Wagnitz. Madeline Hartman. Elizabeth Shepherd, Audrey Beasley, Hayden Mock, Maria Bruner. Shabani Sina, Joseph Vincent, Chloe Trigani, Chad Pogue. Grace Elizabeth Boggs. Alexis Martinez. Jacob Sari. Zoe Bates. Amanda Grace Coleman. Amanda Brooke Withrow. Michaela Williams. Caitlin Elizabeth Woods. Woo! Brooke Griffin Bateman. Woo! Kyle Peacock. Grace Adley Tips. Stella Bryn Justice. Ella Webster.
Alexis Fellman. Natalie Balsazak. <laughs> Ella Harper Wood. <laughs> Nicole Wellborn. Toby Highfill. Kate Omen. Aaron Elizabeth Gone. Madison Claire Stevens. Ethan Stahl. Tyler Kilgus. Noah Karish. Andrew Shimento. Hannah Tanzier. Haley Eisler. Abigail Averett. Yeah. Reagan Peterson. Yeah. Rachel Della Vella. Jaden Alabi. Erica O'Brien. <laughs> Alyssa Sains. <laughs> Kaylee Rice. Shannon Kent. Jordan Radash. Ava Moon. Madison Maynor. Emma Schnell. <laughs> Peyton Winter. <laughs> Michaela Weathers. <laughs> Ainsley Rapp. Morgan Casillas. Madeline Campion. And the final advertising major is Carly Langwa.
will continue with the Creative Media Production graduates. Catherine Hope Fernie. Jail Ties. Zhu Yu Judy Duan. Sutton Bristol. Alexa Diego. Madison Ellis. Fareed Zucrinata. Madison Keel. Octaviano Wilhelm Beringer. Joshua Nielgi. Ravi Modi. Robert Harris. Jaden Riddle. Leo Reynolds. Peyton Mitchell. Abigail Hafezi Motlag. Court Nelson. <laughs> Michael Meek. Colton Cooper. D'Angelo Chandler. Chloe Morris. Nina Studer. Ralph Bernhardt. Connor Leverifon. Jonathan Castiglione. Dylan DeGraffenreed. Emma Sheely. Tess Huffer. Gigi Robertson. <laughs> Catherine Claire Burkhead. <laughs> A. 
Avery John. Brenna Sani. Sydney Lee Nichols. Sydney Jordan. Colin McDaniel. Joseph Anthony Fisher. Cooper Patey. Ion Zaidi. Connor Patterson. And now we move on to our journalism majors. Romello Woodfork. Dana Cyrils. Cameron Joyner. Sydney Wallace. Emily Land. Gabriella Tumani. Pepper Papura. No. <laughs> Jaden Brannon. Reed Lindsay. Brianna Brown. David Greiser. Jay Toibo. Peyton Moody. Emily Wilkerson. <laughs> Caleb Wirtz. <laughs> Mason Young. <laughs> Ryan Mitchell.
Just a little technical difficulty. Let's thank all the great photographers here today. All right, Abby Hanley. Yeah. Jillian Taylor. Marion Lopez Medina. Michaela De Leon. Caslin Tidmore. Carly Murray. Ashley Vandevelde. <laughs> Jessica Lynn. <laughs> TJ Turner. Kelsey Victoria Scales Johnson. Katani Renee Gooch. Mariah Wheeler. Zoe Bloom. Yeah. Beck Connolly. Carolyn Felling. Olivia Daig. <laughs> Nikayla Shakespeare. Carly Vargas. Tyler DeLuca. Xavier Roan. Yeah. 
Benjamin Vincent Feilerman. Austin Kurtwright. Austin Pratt. Yeah, Pratt. Kyle Johnson. Drew Smith. Brooklyn Sweet. David William Ash. Parker Abels. Peyton Gore. Jimmy Wicks. Amaya Ward. Madeline Hunter. Carly Stork. Megan Milburn. And our final journalism major, Cade Kennedy. And now we're moving on to the professional writing students. Andrew McKee. Christina Helber. Shayla Holmes. Alexandria Socket. Alora Rose Boyer. Emma Jean Connell. Caitlin Cheyenne Kanani Rogers. Elena Edelman. Martha Faye Whitley. Alexa May Lally. Francisco Manuel Gutierrez. Yeah. Valerie Carter. Yeah. Claire Doherty. Maggie Jensen. Nixon. 
Savannah Knudsen. And our final professional writing student, Connor Kneifel Rogers. We begin our public relations students, Aria Patel. Jackson Connor. Jack Mayfield. Madison Snow. Faith Townsend. Meg Toppleson. Abby Figpin. Lauren Job. Grace Terrell. Bright Q. Lauren Ella Roberts. Nathan Proctor. Grace McKenna. Avery Gwen. Catherine Fielder. Macy Drott. Chloe Elise Zintz. McKenna Kane. Caitlin Aldridge. Ross Lovelace. Peyton Van Curen. Caitlin Wynn. Cassie Harding. McKenna Grace Cash. Carolyn Wageman. Raina Stroescu. Georgia Stevenson. William Zachary Lissaw. Yes. Chloe Bell. <laughs> Claudia.
Claudia Bell. Emma Pignato. <laughs> Isabella Zeidel. <laughs> Landry K. Massey. <laughs> Sandra Fernandez. Brianna O'Donnell. Mayhem. Joseph Mahan. Elise Hill. Samantha Elizabeth Lowry. Yes, she added in her middle name, so it's Arabella Valentino Blanc. Arabella Valentino Blanc. <laughs> Paige Elizabeth Clark. Bailey Cornwell. Go, Bailey. <laughs> Carly Pascal. <laughs> Grace Elizabeth Shoup. Emma Spake. Elizabeth Davis. Maddie Howard. Sierra Carney. Nathan Tucker. Maddox Palacio. Shannon Maddox Palacios. Tatum Kohler. Maya Sue. Kristen Deloach. Kaylee Heil. Melanie Rutan. Margaret May Walsh. Brooke Chandler Baum. Delaney Marie McDonald. Delaney Marie McDonald. Luke Amen. Emma Adams. Catherine Shanahan. Haley Franks. Jacqueline 
Jacob DeBilzen. Corbin Martin. First name is Aliana. Aliana Head. Last name is Kalina. Caitlin Polito. And our final student today, Michael Walker. We began a new tradition in 2013 as part of our centennial celebration. We'll have our outstanding senior, Jackson Connor, come back to the podium and lead our new graduates in reciting the First Amendment. This is one of the first lessons for new journalism students entering the college, and we think a suitable tradition for closing out their time as students. Jackson. Fellow graduates, please refer to the back of the program on your seats for your reference and recite along with me the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Thank you, Jackson. That was a wonderful close to our ceremony. Congratulations again to our graduates, and thanks to all of you for attending here today. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Gaylord College, I wish you nothing but the best in all of your future endeavors. We ask that the audience please remain in your seats until all of our graduates have filed out. But before we exit, I'd like to ask everyone to stand if you are able and join us in the singing of the OU chant led by Emily Faith, a journalism major, a journalism major and a member of the Gaylord Ambassadors. The words to the chant are in your program. Emily Faith. O-K-L-A-H-O-M-A, our chant rolls on and on. Thousands strong join heart and song in alma mater's praise of campus beautiful both day and night our colors proudly gleaming red and white neath the western sky oh use chant will never die live on university. <laughs>